Haiti, Metal Lama 3, the next generation of Lama, is now available for broader use. It features pre-trained and instruction fine-tuned language models with 8 billion and 70 billion parameters respectively, which can support various use cases. So the Lama 3 language model is trained on a large high-quality pre-trained data set of over 15 trillion tokens. One thing to note is it's openly available model, not open source model like Falcon and all. So in this video, what we are going to see is we are going to see a general use of Metalama 3. And then what we are going to do is we are going to fine, in, fine tune it for a specific use case. So let's get started. So in the first use case, we will just see how the Lama 8 billion parameter model will perform. And rather than using you know, the official model, what we are going to use is we are going to select one of the model which is already fine-tuned for us. So if you search Lama 3 in Hugging Face, at the time of recording, there are already you know 700 plus Lama 3 variants which are available. So we'll use one of them. So we'll use uh, one of the model by Unsloth. And the reason is it's already available in 4-bit and it's pretty lighter to use. And we will be using Unsloth for fine tuning also. So that's the reason why we are using it. Now, going back to this code, and this is just an introductory code of how we are going to initialize the model, the tokenizer, and then we can give it you know, some instruction and see what is the response is. So I will be putting all these collab notebooks in the same link. So let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just mounting to a specific directory, nothing else. I'm just skipping these two things. Now, the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to install Unsloth. And uh, it depends on which version of GPU you are running. So I'm, I'm using B100. So, you know, depending on what kind of GPU you are running, there are these two different steps. So for example, for V100, you will be installing these libraries for other you know gpus you will be installing some different libraries so this is for unslot installation then what you try to do is you try to use unslot and you 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 initiate it using you know this format which is you know you you do it like fast language model and you just specified which model to download so what it is going to do is it's going to provide you the model as well as tokenizer now this is somewhat different from you know the official hugging face library but uh, unsloth uh, provides it like that and it's pretty much efficient so we are going to stick with this so here what we are doing is we are just you know trying to load you know the model which is there in hugging face and we are using unsloth to you know initialize it once we do it what we are going to do is we are going to use this alpaca format to you know make a text and that text can be used to invoke the LLM. So basically what we are trying to do here is we are going to provide it an example with three things instruction, input and you know output as such. And what we are going to uh, see is at runtime it is going to put this specific format which is alpaca format with you know instruction here, input here and again response here. And this is what we are going to send it to the LLM for any sort of uh, you know text generation. Definitely, response will not be there because uh, uh, you know response here is just given for training, but definitely it will not be there in the actual prediction. So then, what uh, we try to do is just giving one example, and this example is again from acquisition merger and acquisition domain. So, for example, let's say I have a piece of news, unstructured data, like you know this you know, company acquired this company and, you know, the other things like, you know, date and all. And let's say what we need to do is we need to just, uh, you know, see what the output is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, give it a instruction like which company is the acquirer and, you know, based on this input, it has to provide me. Now, if I put, you know, the alpaca format, what happens is you give the instruction, you give the input and definitely you give the output. So this format is, you know, produced and this format can be used for further invocation. Now here, for example, what I have done is I just put that format, I just put it into tokenizer and I just call this specific model 
which we downloaded in this format. And if you see the answer, the answer is something like this. So this is the whole text that is generated. But if you see the response part, it says HCL technologies that acquire and other text. So given the input and the instruction, this instruction, it was able to respond uh, good. And I think this is the perfect answer. So it is performing pretty much good. Now what we are going to do is we are going to definitely fine tune this specific thing. So you know the answer is although right. So I would say the in context learning is working perfectly. But can we try to improve it by providing our own data set? That's what we are going to do next. Let's see. So let me tell how to fine tune. And what I am going to do is I am just going to have this collab also uh, give it into the link. And again, thanks to Unslot guys, there is nothing unique about this collab notebook. So what I have done is I just defined some you know just in time data set for myself, and most of the code is already taken from uh, Unslot. So basically, what you do is you mount to a specific drive. Then what I have done here is I have defined my own data set. As I said about module and acquisition data set. So it contains three keys instruction, input, and output. So for example, instruction is which company is the acquirer. Input is a news article, and the output is peak performance cooperation, which is the acquirer. So I just gave a very simple seven examples here. And you can replace at runtime with you know a larger data set, or you know, you can change few things just to see how it is working. So basically, once it is defined. What we try to do is again, we try to install few things. I'm using V100, so you know my libraries will be different. If, if I would have used something like A100, then you know the libraries would be slightly different. And this is again all boilerplate code from Unslot. So basically, what we do is using fast language model, you try to instantiate you know different parameters, and then depending on you know what things you have to uh, fine tune. You can define several other parameters which are to be optimized. So, for example, here we have defined all the parameters which will be used for you know defining a Swift model. And once you do it, what you try to do is again this data set which you have created, you just try to put it into uh, you know some specific format where you know which is alpha format. So, for example, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to send our uh, this data set one by one, and we are going to produce a next column. So let me explain what it is. So basically, uh, here if you see, what we are trying to do is we are trying to make a data set, uh, and the data set contains three things: instruction, input, and output. The same thing which we saw earlier. But when you call this specific function called formatting prompt function. What it is going to do is it is going to add one more thing called text, which will be used for fine tuning. And this text, the you know, contains you know instruction input and you know response in a one single format. That's what it tries to do. So this is what's happening here. So basically, you have instruction input output, and once you call this specific function which merges all three, you have instruction input output and text. So next, what we are going to use is we are going to use only this text for fine tuning. So that's what we are going to do. So again, uh, here is the code that we are using for SFT trainer from library called TRL. So basically, what we are going to do is we are going to provide it some parameters, and we are going to provide it the data set which we are going to use. For example, this is the data set which is a seven example data set, and it expects you know this column to be there, and it's going to start training it. So it starts training it here. For example, uh, you know it shows memory status, what it is, you know how much memory is left, and so on. And once you call train, it will start training it. And I'm just walking through this code, but if you see, you know the training loss is decreasing and decreasing, which means definitely, you know, it is learning something. And once that is there, what you can do is you can save it. Using uh, unslot itself. So basically, what it is going to do is it is going to call uh, you know a specific function where basically what's what is happening is a 16-bit version is uh, you know saved in a folder called mod, you know model MNA. 
so it looks like this so if you see here you know everything is stored and the reason why we stored this uh, here is next time what we are going to do is we already have saved it and next time what we are going to do is we are going to you know instantiate from this saved state and going to pass it uh, you know a, a separate news article in a different collab to see whatever we save does it work or not yeah so let let's see so here is separate collab and the reason we are doing it is because we used one collab notebook to fine tune we will use this collab notebook to load that model and predict so this is what we are going to do it's pretty simple so basically first you are installing you know unslot and again you know we are using v100 as such the gpu and then we are going to load that model and if you see we already saved a model called model mna so that is what we are going to load in a 4 bit format and once we do it what we are going to do is uh, uh, again as i already defined you know for any sort of prediction we are going to make it in alpaca format where you know instruction and input will be there and uh, the first example that we gave it like for example when we were using the raw llama what we try to do is we gave it one specific example where we put a news article and we asked you know who is the acquirer and give us the output so same thing we are going to try here so basically the only difference is now it is going to perform on our fine tuned model so we gave a input we gave a instruction which is this instruction and this is what is going to be formed uh, as such and this is what is going to be fed to this new model which we have and if you see the answer answer is you know the response is excel technologies acquirer if you compare it to the you know in context learning where we didn't fine tune for our specific use case the answer is same so definitely you know uh, there is no uh, improvement uh, is what we saw because again the answer is almost correct but maybe if you have more data or let's say you know the kind of examples are little complex maybe then you know the fine tuning process would have you know have some benefit so anyways it's worthwhile to have both the things ready that is in context learning wise you can give it some instructions and you know expect some output the other way is how we did we try to you know fine tune on our specific uh, use case and then we try to predict it and we got the right answer so that's it for today thanks team thank you so much for watching bye